Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here and we're off for more of Deltarune first reactions, first theories, first everything. We are pretty much at the top of the castle. We've gone through it a bunch of times because if you remember at the beginning in the fields near Seam's shop, or Shorm's shop, however you want to pronounce it, it's like some of my name, um, here's the thing. There is this card puzzle, the very f one of the few card puzzles that we've had before, but it said that you have to be at the castle in order to know it, so obviously you can't just type it in and look it up to cheat to get through. You have to go to the castle and do the things from the bottom to top. I keep doing that and it ain't working. And if you press the button to switch them around, it's basically the opposite way around anyway. So I have no idea why it ain't working. And yes, this has been recorded immediately after the last one, which was also immediately recorded after the last one because I'm wearing the same shirt. It's sort of more, I'm doing this all in one fell swoop. So yeah, because I just want to keep playing it. But yeah, obviously when the comments do come out, I'll probably return and see it, figure it out. Or if I beat the game, I can look it up myself. But for some reason it ain't triggering. So obviously I've got to go further. But Going any further than here is going to probably be with the king, which is Lance's dad, because we're at the top of the tower of the castle, and yeah, that's a thing. So really, we just went through the castle, and we also saw that other area, which was this weird gate in order to get a key, and we got one piece from Seam, and we need to look for a place that has no stars. Don't remember a place that didn't have any stars, so yeah. We'll just go onwards. Yep, this looks like a battle arena. Here we go. Oh, enough worms. We just brought stuff from you in the last episode. Thou may have cheated through my mind, through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with whatever this is. We just fought this thing. But it's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. Oh wait, I missed that. Shoot. It kind of like had a thing come in. Oh, dang. I have to see that in anything. Yes, and my control crap. You know what? It looks the same. That is cool. That is cool. I didn't mean to press the button too fast to skip that, but that is cool. I did that actually in the Undertale bloopers. Click the card. I'll, I'll, I'll link it like on the actual time frame. But... When um, Kieran said something as Papyrus at one point, and I kind of done this kind of thing on my own. Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me and then asked to call me Mother? Well, that's kinky! <laughs> did Toby see that and actually think that would be a good thing? I'd like to think, but I don't know. Yes, with my control crown, I mace, I maced control any disc shaped life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. Oh, I did it again! Yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will free of relief. Let's see how much more pain thou will be in. Here it comes again. Well, right, so we need a bow. Susie's idea. Susie? You want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize for it? <laughs> you want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Oh! <laughs> Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head! <laughs> help me throw out say on it! <laughs> I'll foresee the turn of the angle! <laughs> I'm sorry, what the hell? Hey there! Oh no, that's not, that's not what I wanted. I was aiming directly at it. Uh, hey there! The crown loosened a little. <laughs> I wanted to aim directly for the hat for the crown. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, I, 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 li I like that. We'll get it done immediately. Oh, really? I actually got hit twice there? 20% loose. Oh my lord. Fro, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> right, let's go high. Oh, nailed it! Really? That was only a big ting. Poor Rousse! Yeah, in the short end of the stick all the time. Yeah, I see what, me what, it me what Aaron meant by Metaton because it kicks and stuff happens. Throw! Everybody! 
Let's work together to do this. Oh, wrong button. Bap! Oh, well. Ouch. Oh, no. I can't do the gag now, can I? Oh, no. Uh, 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 bow. <laughs> Susie. We need emergency triage treatment. <laughs> What's the weakest that we have here? Healing varies with the Choco Diamond. I might just use that. Yeah, and we'll use that on our save. We'll see what happens. Get bowed back. It's kind of loosened a little. Ah, oh, that was it again! <laughs> wow, every time we're about to heal. And it rolls off. You won! Four dollars. Because we had no TP. Why? Brilliant! Just brilliant! I knew you cows do it. Thou great heroes, thou. Thou see if that was merely... A friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I, personally, could not be less of an obstruction. Uh. But you... Luck be with you, heroes! Every time something weird happens, Chris looks at us. Like, really? <laughs> Chris is the normal one. Well. That's a throne. Okay. Riches, they shine with avarice. Not avarice, avarice. Same freedom planet. Just checking to make sure everything's still working. It is. Ha ha ha. Right. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. What? Well, I guess this has been... Oh my lord, what the hell has been happening? Oh lord, what the hell has been happening? Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Can't check the bit on the floor. Over here. You know, the way that that emblem looks, it's kind of like a club-like trifles. <laughs> With an upside down um, Starfleet emblem. War banners, yep. Yeah. So we kind of struggle. Okay, I've saved. Let's go. Oh boy. We've got a corridor again. Oh, we got colour again. Hey, there's Lancer. Oh, we're on top of the castle. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the lightners as I commanded? No, but. I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and they're alive. Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, and she's very purple and strong, and where are they now? Um, hello. <laughs> hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, father. Do you remember what I told you? This looks very father-esque, but as we've been told already, this dude can be quite the, uh... Quite the, um... Hmm. Can't find the word. <laughs> Don't get too attached. You have failed. He's gonna chuck him, ain't he? They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They are not for you. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No... <laughs> No, they aren't. Oh, here we go. I, I like how you're being freaked out, considering that's what you did to me, Susie. Jesus. What did you say? Oh, never mind. Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. You're his dad. That's too far. Unless you all need and learn your place. What can I be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightness. Oh! Things have gotten saucy. You traitor, come back here. Alright, enough already. Who the hell you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I'm the bad guy. Why do you have a mouth in your stomach pulling out your knob? Tail. Thing. What the heck are you?
Oh, the music's just a slightly sped up version of the castle music. Okay. King blocked the way. Uh, talk, talk, talk. Everyone can just talk. I, I feel like I want to check first. Oh, the music. Okay. By the way, the dark fountain at the back there looks like it's a mouth just circulating. Uh, let's uh, let's defend. Let's play it safe for now. King, abandoned by the lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. So he was abandoned by us at some point. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. How dare you come here like this? I didn't even get to see his stats, actually. It just gave me a description. Oh, uh, this is oddly tame. Darkness pours on the fountain. Uh, okay, um... I say you talk to him. You're the prince. You you should have some, like, say in the matter. Defend. I say try to reason with the king. You might not realise it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realise your naivety. Now, perish with the prophetic likeness you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. I say his will is changing. Talk become dual heal? Dude! You just learned something! You that's living in the shadow stripped of meaning. Oh dude, this is crazy! Stop! Stop! Ow! Crap! That was brutal! Uh heals everyone but needs 50 TP. Uh yes please. Alright, I'm gonna give him a hefty whack, battery. Your soul shined its power on Rouse. Dual heal. There we are. Wow, actually, I got the least amount of that. You dare return to torment us once again? Not really. We kind of just ended up down here. It wasn't our decision. Oh, even no, even the lasers actually give it. King's mouth gave us the give, give us a berserk smile. All right, uh, Susie, do something. Give it. Give him what for? <laughs> I don't know. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lance is my friend, so if we can get by without hurting you, then if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Sees his world is changing, talk become Red Buster. Red Buster? Be gone, we have found fresh purpose. Oh, that's not a fun attack. Oh, pants, I walked into it. <laughs> Dang! 60 TP. Uh, I need to talk to him. We have normal Root Buster, but... Kind of need... Oh, I'm 1 TP sure. Susie, give me a hefty whack. And you... Uh, yeah, heal prayer on Chris. <laughs> you try to reason with the king? Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By knight's will, I shall spatter your heart to pieces. So you're supposed to be the knight. Ah, oh, I get it, darkness. Courage? Is that the gift I gave? Is that the gift I chose, or is that always courage? Hmm. Didn't want to go too far. For the night has appeared. Oh god, here we go again. Okay. Let's plan ahead. Oh, pants. That's really hard to dodge, that is. Defense boost. Dang it, I would like that. I mean, you would think defense would give you a defense boost, but no, that just gives you TP. Right, we're gonna defend. Actually, no, we're gonna attack. You are going to defend and. You'll go to the fence as well. Oh, there we go. The night that pulls the fountains from the earth. Oh. Oh, no. That is not cool. That is not cool. These attacks are insane and wacky, and I could not actually outrun that. So I took damage from that. Ooh. Yeah, a dual heal would be nice right now. Susie, uh, we do not have enough for a rude buster, but if we, uh, if we defend again, we'll have enough TP for another time. 
Holy fountains, those shadows are creating a new world. Our world. So what am I supposed to do? Am I actually supposed to damage him and beat him? Ouch. King's Mouse give a berserk smile. I might have to actually damage him. I'll give another hit. Susie, you... Yeah, everyone... Everyone attacks, bugger it. Everyone attacks. Oh my god, everyone attacks at the same time! That's awesome! That's the first time I've seen that, and we're in a boss battle. Wow. Okay. Do you now see our new purpose? Oh my lord, this is bad. Nope. Okay, rest of is down, and he's our healer. Yeah, let's use our chop diamond again. Actually... I need to do that. Red Buster. Oh, I need to use an item. Let's use the Chop Diamond of Rousey. And you can use your normal Root Buster. Let's see what that does. We haven't actually seen this yet. Because we haven't been able to use it. Oh! It's just a, it's just a Sword Beam, effectively. Or an Axe Beam, in this case. That looked awesome. Soon this will be blanketed. Darkness and Darkness shall rule it. Okay, this is the tame one, and Valsay's down again already, because I played badly. Right, uh, you know what, we're going to use that, uh, oh, that's the only revive mint we can get though, isn't it? I don't really want to use that. And you may see what it's like to live in despair. Oh no, not this one again. I don't like this one. I can't dodge this very well. I say and I nail it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, a dual heal would be very nice right now. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do the dual heal and you just give him a hefty whack. Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. As he uses his chain attack. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god, there's additional stuff to dodge. I do not like this a bit, one bit. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we can't do the dual heal. It's annoying. Defense. Defense. Because we need the TP. Is he tired yet? No, he ain't. He'll grow it. Yeah, Susie needs it. You're quite strong, aren't you? Uh, oh, I do not like this. Cutting it close. Oh. Just trying to think. Hmm. Glad I left this one of episode. Uh, is that just my defense? I don't know. Both of you defend. You encourage the party. The defense party is raised for this turn. Nice. I keep, if I keep fighting you like this, then what, will you actually get to the end of the battle? We just got to survive. Oh, poop. I've been riding the edge all that time. The battlefield is rumbling. I want, I want to check, but at the same time, a dual heal was kind of necessary at this point. Defense. Your soul shines its power on say. Dual heal. So basically, my soul can implant, like, augment one the others. It seems that. Ouch. Okay. I, w I want to check. And both of you, I want to. I want both of you to attack. Okay, that does not say. Oh, I nailed it! My knight! I shall not fail you. Oh, he's not the knight then. The knight mo So this ain't even the final boss then. But I say that, but this is chapter one. I'm a little bit confused on how that hand- Oh! That's handled! Enough is enough. He looks like a cat like that. I see. I see I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from my long battle. 
Alright, his cape is a bat. <laughs> Lightners, I... Perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. Similar to monsters and humans, which is now a thing, so this is like something completely different. I'm guessing like these are some sort of weird monster-human amalgamations? I don't know. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Susie, I know you're on guard, and I know that he was being a bit of a dickish father, but maybe that was all a facade. Come now, Susie. Thank you. I'm glad you're starting to realise, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. You can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. My apologies, I am... Um, I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Heal him up. Hey, even though you did that out of battle, so how did you have the TP? Breaking the rules for plot convenience. How do you feel? Let's see. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Never better. You. I say you could get him. Ha ha! Chris? Oh, dang. Oh, spare me the heroics. Oh! Oh, you're coming after me now, are you? Oh, Chris. I keep saying me. It's, a, it's, it's just a gaming thing. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? Turn it off as you cast us all back into obscurity. You can't even say. Never mind. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me. So now you're Susie! Oh, and Susie was not having that. Hey, get away from my friend. Oh, we just got some high praise. Oh, what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Would you stop with your spades? Nah. But they might. Hey! hey, hey, hey. Everyone's here. Lancer? Everyone? Uh, this... This wacky music does not fit this theme right now, seriously. It was too dark for the moment there, and now we've got this kooky music playing. That's a complete total shift. I'm not actually happy with that at the moment, because that was kind of close. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. I'm guessing if we did a genocide route, that wouldn't have happened. Or it may have happened like a toss-up if we did a neutral run. Because we were nice to everybody, they backed us up at the very end. Hmm! We could have actually died if we genocided. And then again, if we genocided, we wouldn't have been able to beat him. I guess a neutral run would have actually been worse. Hmm. Me! Now I'm the dad. <laughs> you idiots. Your lightners are your enemies. Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill you all! Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> You're right, Chris. Bloody hell, we actually get to see Susie's eyes. It looks a bit odd. <laughs> Chris, Susie. <laughs> You're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie. I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost. We almost. Susie, you were right. I. I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. And if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, I'll get used to it. Well, at least she knows how things are supposed to go. She was just being stubborn. 
I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Wait, is that it? We're done? <laughs> well, uh... See ya. Hmm. There we are. Oh, we have control. Oh, we don't get, like, a funnel heal. I like how it, all that damage didn't mean anything. <laughs> all that at the very end actually didn't do any damage. So is that it? We're just done. Wait, can we go back? Can we go back? Or are we going to get stopped? Huh? Chris, you want to go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Eh, well, if you're going to make if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Yay, we can actually go back. Chris? Susie? You came back. Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. <laughs> Are you leaving? No, we have to go to Tour Atlanta first. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, we could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Hang on a minute, so now we're at the end of this chapter. But I didn't find any of those keys. I mean, can I, like, go back at some point and do that? I don't know. Best. You're the best. Honestly, we owe you. Even a little ball can say something like thank you. Thank you, you're about to be a coat hanger now. By the way, I will seem to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Fair enough. You're absolutely amazing. But by great the work. Okay. I don't think I've ever bumped into those guys. Oh no, those are supposed to be the cages, aren't they? I don't know. Darn, we'll see you have done us a big help. The help. No of us can live in pieces. You did it! You oust that rotten tyrant. I will happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing! Wonderful work, my amigos. Thou hast toppled the tyrant, free star creeps. Truly, of history shall not forget the tale of Rusa's card and the three heroes. God damn it. Why is it just a massive corridor? What the hell? I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. I think that's how it works. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next birthday too, we'll have one soon, if that's possible. Happy looked at you proudly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's going on? I slipped through everything. Oh, so, yeah, it kind of changed a bit. What ho? What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? <laughs> My treasure is unharmed. Carry on, then. Us animals decide it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. What's all the fuss about? Few people in cages. Show's over. Everybody go home. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure how to make our new king. I mean, Lanza has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. Thanks. I always thought you were going home... Uh, home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Um, so, you're the king now, huh? Yes, I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, present is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the family, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Uh, well, see you later. Let's just hope it doesn't like corrupt us with darkness. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Wait, did you say anything else? You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No. He's just a sweet little peach. <laughs> Mamma Meba, what a celebration. Everyone is here. This must be the birthday party I made that cake for. Clover's birth. Such a sweet occasion. I might cry. Uh, actually, this whole thing is like awful. Oh. Mon amiga, then you're Clover's mother? Now I understand why you ate the cake to protect her. Huh? 
Wait, no, I... Why have you got the teeth again? Wait, come on, look at this. Did I get one cake? Wow, she loves her cake, don't she? Do I have to be Clover's mama do it? Yes, that's my arbitrary rule. Oh, you're, oh, you're blocking the way. You're blocking the way! Oh, no! But there hasn't been a save point, so I should be fine. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Well, that's it. I cannot go any further back. I'm locked in. And there's nothing new to say. Well, that's it, I guess. Hmm. Well, I uh, don't actually... At least everyone is here, so we don't have to go for the whole world, but that means the whole world's now blocked off to us. I'm guessing we'll just respawn at the last save point. If... There is a method, if there's a reason to save at the end, I will not save so we can do the other stuff and then I'll beat the game my own time. Are you leaving? Hell fine, oh, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Yep, yeah, we're done. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Oh no. Am I? I just wanted to say I. I. Really enjoy him eating you two end. Hey, can you stop mumbling in your hat for a sec? Can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Boss monster. Who the hell are you? I'm confuzzled. And you look more of a girl than a boy. I hope we can see you again soon. I'm guessing that the reason why they look all black is because of the shadow with their hat. Hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Like Toriel with the pies. <laughs> oh yeah, sure dude! Let's go Chris! Okay, that's a revelation. So, the Prince of the Darkness is also a boss monster? Like Asriel, Toriel, Asgore? Okay, I mean, I kind of saw that coming, but at the same time, it, it, that was a shock value right there. Hmm. Oh, here we are. Oh my god, look at the lighting. That's awesome looking. Is this the fountain? Isn't Railsake supposed to be helping us here? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, yeah, we're, we're like apparently the free of the legend. <laughs> well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. What the hell? Again, our uh, human soul was the key. <laughs> What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! What? This was the cupboard, wasn't it? And we were just playing games this whole time. What did we smoke? What did we smoke before we came in here? None of that was real! <laughs> the unused classroom? How did we get here? Yeah, just walk over the pieces. Because, I mean, like, this has got to be, like, the main field. That Like, the doll's got to be where we started or something. The cards is the castle and whatnot, and those were the floors going up. And, in a way, that is actually kind of the map on how we moved around the place as well. Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? I... It wasn't a dream or anything, was it? I don't know at this point. I'm confused. 
Oh, I can't move. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. Oh boy, we're back here. We're back down to we're back down to 20 HP. We've got two normal dollars. We're a ball of junk. What the heckles? Okay, that's weird. Our stats are the same. We uh, the the spooky sword we brought. It's changed to the Halloween pencil. Something's changed, and our attack's got a plus one to it because of the weapon. Chris, what have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. We tried to ring, but Gaster was in the way. <laughs> yeah, your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I'll make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Alright. Fair play. Why are we back to the normal world of Undertale? <laughs> Info. Ball of junk. A small ball of accumulated thing. Smells like scratch and sniff smash ball stickers. The dark candy that, that tasted like marshmallows were just scratch and sniff stickers. It's a checkerboard. Uh, pawns drawn on it, which were the enemies we were fighting earlier. It's a worn down stuffed animal, which is probably uh, Rouse. The door is locked, and that's where we came from before, wasn't it? It's a checkerboard, there are pawns strewn on it. Okay, there's a light switch. That's the light switch we couldn't find. Playing cards spill out of a deck of the closet, which is what all the card puns were about. It's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's side Alvin. Alvin! <laughs> I don't know what that is a reference to. We didn't really see any grit. Was that the thing that was hot behind the cage? I am so confused. Use. You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. There's nothing else to do in here, I guess. So I'll just leave the room. Man, the sun's already setting. We walked into that door. Why are we here? That was the side door. I'm so confused. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than ask us next time, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that door. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, guess we should go. You want to open the door, don't you? See if we go back. See you later, I guess. <laughs> she wants to open the door. Chris. Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Is this like an imaginary story that these two have formed in order to bond better? Only this is the real world and that's a dream. We're going to go back into that room and we're going to use all those set pieces yet again. Is that how it's going to work? And is that how the game's going to play out in chapters? We might bring in other games in order to expand the world or something. Because there was a very, there was a lot of game themed related, like the board game related kind of things happening. Oh, we've got a play date. The door is locked. And how did it open before? The door is locked. Strange. Still want to find out what I need to do. I mean, there's no point to save again, so. Oh! Go back in here. We say motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf. Yeah, well, this is the same thing. Do not mean to do that? We have never been down this way, so let's go down here. Join the cross-country team with Joggington and Noel. Locker, it's locked. Oh, we can actually go in this room. We haven't explored this room before. This is Toriel's room. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? The throne of the gods. It's all the stack chairs. 
Pyramid drawing of your mum. It's opposed to a several basic shapes, circle, oval, square. Hyperdodecahedron. Okay. It's opposed to a several basic shapes. Uh, oh, that's the one we just checked. Miss Toriel has written cursor on the dry, on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. It's a computer, desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Well, we still haven't met Azriel. Some kind of teacher food. It's an apple. <laughs> well, at least we've actually explored that room for, for, for once. So is that it? Are we done then? We, we can't go back. We're, on, we're in a funnel. Oh, I gotta walk home. Oh, I can actually exp I can explore this place! Let me in! Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Hang on a second. Why are we at school if you're working here? Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is... 2,583 days of a year. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's, it's the same number today. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. Yeah, I did know. I did say that Caddy would be around here. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. There's an anime review. Read it. What's with the nose? Teens Corner Monthly Tomb Review, Mew Mew Kiss Cutie 2. Yeah. This review had Mew Mew Kiss 2 as her first exposure to the series, and let her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with swiftly kitties. Is this the blog that Alpha's talked about before? During Hotland? With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that would die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing the beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow lip. Hang on a minute, Alphys! What the hell? You completely flipped your comp opinion on its side. It must be a remake. Or it must be like a new version. <laughs> Gotta go to college. So Tim's stubby hard. She's reading a comment from Wolfhard Demon, guys. Well done. Tammy's weird. <laughs> Confirmed. You lick the page. Yeah, there's a book here, you lick the page, it's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavour text. God damn it, Toby. It's an unlabeled book, you look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned to my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it in their catalog. Oh no. I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Please remember my name, please vote to help you remember. Fire hot, for hot's fire guy. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award winning fan fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom! Yes, Gerson the turtle. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Can't, but I can't get past. The books. Good dick. You look through the window to the computer lab, but there seems to be a dog inside working at a com Toby! I knew you were in there! Get out of here! Talk to me! <laughs> seems like he's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Alright, Toby. Alright. I see how it is. I see. I see how it is. Alphys! My main guard. I guess you're still one of those. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Tell you and Asgore back together. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh, I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Alphys? Alphys? Who's... How do you not know... This must be a parallel timeline of some sort. It's like everyone else does fan fiction of like different timelines and all that. Like you got like. By the way, she's she hasn't lost an eye either. Um, that's a thing. I just noticed that because the sprite looks a little bit odd with two eyes. But yeah, I was about to say it's like you've got 
like Glitch Tail, you got Store, uh, like um, Under Fell, you got uh, Choco Tail, and all that sort of stuff. Um, this is this basically Toby's version of like an alternate timeline or parallel timeline. No idea what you're talking about. Why did they do something illegal? God, just see if I see Alphas, I'll tackle. They're as good as dead. All right, so this is not a sequel. Unless something's messed with the timeline and it is a sequel, but things have changed. I'm, I'm so confused. The Dark World. What? There's a Dark World inside the school? Oh, uh, sure, kid. There's no law against Dark Worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Help you? Oh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can surplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank! Alright, that's just witty dialogue and very confusing and that pretty much... It's funny how at the very end you have the option to talk to Undyne. I mean, maybe... Oh, hang on a minute. Maybe... Maybe it's still a sequel, but with a twisted timeline. Maybe it's like... Because like, we're still on the surface, everything's finally been developed in this town. Asriel's still a thing, Asgore and Toriel are back together. And Undyne is in a role similar to being a royal guard. She's now a policeman, or policewoman. So, maybe things are different that way. This is funny how I have to beat the game in order to get some answers. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Nah. That's a reference. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. She's the best. I feel really directed. South. Oh my god, we can explore this entire goddamn town, can't we? This is one hell of an after game. Hello, who are you? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, but on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin. Ah, you're Alvin. Implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. I see Delta Rune on the windows. It would make sense that Ezreal would be here. He technically is the Delta Rune in Undertale. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participate to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> I want the fruit juice, damn it! <laughs> I'm the rebel here. Town Hall. What's in Town Hall? Hello! That's politics! The mayor's charisma is about zero. <laughs> no, it's negative. But she works hard and has good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics! Really? Yep. I knew that was coming. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. You know, I just realised, it just occurred to me, um, our current weapon, because we equipped the new weapon, um, is a Halloween pencil. This came out on Halloween, so... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. And I can't get past you. Fairy Renafu. Let's check this. It's a painting of the town. Small pine tree. Can we actually walk up to Mount Ebert? That'd be cool. What if you could actually do that and just go all the way through the underground? We got more to explore. Holy crap, this is expansive. Hello? What's all this? No. Syro, karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Mutler, big bone for the leader of the pack. People died. Crystal, snowy gemstone for a proud mother. No! Gerson's gone! No! It was tragic when he left. But, yeah, Shiren also fell. That's sad. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout, throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're right. Aww. That's sad. So, that w if I didn't talk to Undyne, that would have confirmed in my head that this was, was a massive time gap in between Undertale and this. But because of what Undyne said, I detect time-related shenanigans, probably from the amount of resets that Frisk maybe have done. And this is like the result of a glitch, maybe? 
I don't want to leave town. That's something I just don't want to do at the moment. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. It's an emergency hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Oh! Ouch. Hmm! You and usually play the piano a bit more beautifully! Is it okay? You do seem a little sick. Oh, okay. I just changed your dialogue about him reading to talking to you first. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. Oh god, you look like you've had a bit of a run in. This castle's white wizards. But this castle's white wizards is regulating me to this healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle. Are you the king that we had to fight? <laughs> it's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using IC as a model. At zero pain, he's happy, he's happy and sweating. Okay. Inside the cupboard, a very small rooty piano is hiding inside. Of course. It's a, re it's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. Ah, <laughs> the dog, the dog sanctuary. Funny. Oh, Dad, I do, I can't just say that to her. Oh my God, I'd die. I'd literally die. No, all a sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah. She slapped me so hard I blacked out. Wow, voice acting on that one. Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers free? Be it. Is that supposed to be Dragon Quest free? Now I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No. Maybe, maybe you should wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Ha <laughs> ha. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly. It's uh, Beardly. That uh, Birdly. It's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Hello. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, that was it. Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey Chris, you forget my name or something? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Ah, you son of a bitch. Alright Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Your mum make you come near. No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. <laughs> now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> Why creepy? What's so creepy about Chris at the moment? <laughs> okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? Uh, how's no? She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And then when it happens, she freezes like a deer in the headlights. Maybe she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, that was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Oh, so we're, that's why we're creepy. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's what... That's what's tough about being in here, Chris. What's going on with me? Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Fair enough. Alright, uh, don't worry. There's no way you can pull me right now. Uh, illness. How's your illness coming along? Uh, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap. <laughs> it's just some... So it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing like a holiday car handle. Ah, uh, funny. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Now I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. What antics does Chris get up to? <laughs> right, Hellion. I love the music, by the way. It's another one of those um, Undertale of the motifs. Chris, even if we're going apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Alice go with college pals, right? Oh, hey. Now that Azra was off to college, he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad. I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. So that means Azriel's grown up. Your mother was on the other hand. Your mother on the other hand? Woo! She always fussed about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. When she hit clear across the room with a key lime pie. She loves her pies. I got smacked into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Alright, fair enough. I'll see you later, buddy. 
It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. Nice. Alright, so that's that. Um, anything else on woods over here? The police station. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's come up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Wow, seriously? That sucks. Oh! Tape simply reads, Yeah. Yep. Alright. So obviously going north is where we need to go, so I'm going to go south, and I'm going to go see what's down here. What's down here, then? If I hit the credits, I'm going to be mad. Hear that right? The closer we get to the door, it's locked. What's this? Is this like a new entrance to the underground or something? Or is that going to be our next entrance to the dark world? Hmm. All right. The return. Uh, I, I haven't actually mentioned this. The window so far has said the return. So. Okay. Let's go up here. I actually need to wrap this up. I haven't eaten yet. Sands? Oh, it's not called Grillbies anymore. It's called Sands. Uh, do you have any explanation for what's going on here? Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What? What's up? Uh, friends? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, I uh, got anyone I should know better? Groovy. My mum? Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mum last night. That is uncalled for, my boy. <laughs> that is way above the bar. <laughs> she's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's gonna lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? What's up? Uh, friends. Um, my teacher. Alphys, yeah, I know all about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. <laughs> she opened the case and stuffed a full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So I uh, guess I'll just let her do her thing. Friends. Uh, me! Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. Takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like it. You got Sans in the <laughs> What? Can we actually find him up? Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Uh, sure. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be- what are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you, my little bro- Papyrus! He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. That's awesome. I mean, I should have hesitated. That's just- that was just stupid, but at the same time. Papyrus! Eh, nobody. Horish, but fair. <laughs> store. Behind me? Yeah, it's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. <laughs> milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. <laughs> You're the one who runs it, you mug. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. So what happens if I walk away and call him? Hello. Hello, you have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please. Why'd you call the hotline for idiot babies if you aren't an idiot baby? You are a, you are a trickster and you're not explaining anything about what's going on. I came to you for answers, damn it. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant trust of a bu Papyrus! God damn it, you! <laughs> oh yeah, that is actually Papyrus' house. Oh, hang on. I can't get in the back room! <laughs> they moved it out of Snowden. QC's diner. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. 
Would you be interested in trying some of our mini 24 hour Pezza flavours? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperoni kiss. Okay, what have you got? God, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pezza, your number one spot for piping hot Pezza pizza. Hey, wait a second, I recognise you. Burger Pants! <laughs> Burger Pants are my old buddy, how you doing? <laughs> it's... Hi, little buddy. It's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Oh, uh, Asriel. Do you know when Asriel's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really want it. I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around the town like old times. Picking up, for example. Chicks! <laughs> my god, he's got new faces as well. It's amazing. Which is a matter of course. I might have... Uh, it may not have ever actually happened. <laughs> but one time undying me, I contact with me. While she was riding me a speeding ticket. God damn, I love the new I love the new sprites for him. <laughs> Co-walkers. Ah yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serve, obsessed, no concept for personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully, absent thankfully <laughs> absent in the pizza of age. <laughs> His face! I love it! <laughs> Constantly terrorizing us with more chance. Powerful guy, man, that guy you gotta actually does that guy even work here? And my co workers. <laughs> Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. <laughs> yeah. Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Isis Pizza is hell. <laughs> I can't stack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no eye in Pezza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. <laughs> but it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college for as he is. Then I'll get a theatre degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Yeah, that's, that was your plan before. That's awesome. That is amazing. Nah, I'm fine. It's fine, little buddy. I don't have to. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Your family is going to love it. Yeah, I already read that. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Wow, really? That's crazy. Can I go in here? Yep, I can. There's people in here. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Ah, oh, we'll talk. We'll take the special one. Do you have any edible glitter? Oh god, here we go. It's, this is this is a place for um Metaton. The youngest ones won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Okay. Hey there. Haven't seen you in a while, hun. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come up and order the special. Of course things happened and then you all stopped coming all together. But every Sunday you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Yeah, how about this? Aw, thanks. On the house, hun. Hot chocolate, topped with homemade marshmallows in the shape of bunnies. You drank the hot chocolate. It tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Ah, the feels. Rave windows and reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. The secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Fair enough. Don't be strange now, right, dear? So, for you two girls, that'll be the creeps, the cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks won't suit the fire elemental. If I got nervous, I just melt all the ice. Yep. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Fair enough. That's that then. That's the diner done. Alright, let's bypass Sands. Go this way. Oh my god, we're still quite a ways. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, you human that lives up at the top of town? Wow, my mummy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Are you that? Are you that dude from the waterfall next to Sands with the thing where the ice cream, ice cream dude was in the cave? Oh, that sounds like the knock on the beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Ah, oh, it's that guy from Snowden. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, we Snowy and Joggington were all playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over her, she just uh, froze solid. 
and kicked the ball as hard as he could right into the officer, officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped the uh, handball. Yep, you think you're gonna beat her up. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Uh, she's alright, she's come around. You're lucky, Chris. You gotta miss class with Alphys. That's not fair. So if I skip class, my dad will never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy! What did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it! It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. <laughs> That's a bit. What the hell are you doing behind here, Elvis? Oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip, did you skip class? <laughs> well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. I'm. You're not in trouble. Thank you. Well, let me know if you need anything. It's a dirty trash can. So trash can. It's well kept. It's a trash can with well kept flowers. It's a saucer of milk. Oh, you're trying to feed a, a cat or something. Oh, Chris, she's trying to feed Mew Mew. That might be it. Do did you want to talk about something? Uh, what's with the flowers? Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. <laughs> always asks me how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, he always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he if he likes... <laughs> if he likes the awesome comics I lent him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. <laughs> chalk. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow uh, my homemade DVD collection of the of the Simptons. You know, the sitcom about middle class monster family. I get it, it's a Simpsons joke. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. Make sure you don't watch past the second since they just rebooted the Simpsons and they all started to hide in their own vehicles, drive fighting to get your demons and stuff, main problems that they kind of lost the focus on the families that they had earlier. Vehicle ship like animals. And let's not get into the Symptoms Galaxy Force, where the Symptoms discover uh, 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 so, uh, Wouldn't that be gravitational field? Just... You don't want to watch it. You kind of told me it. That's okay, Chris. Saucer. Oh, the saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. There we go. But not the actual Mew Mew. What does she look like? Uh, well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My cat. What if it's Sans? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him. Half a hours in this disgusting alley. Tell your mum I said hi. Alright, fair enough. I thought she lived there for some reason. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> Save all of our money for anime and not actually like, do anything. So, is that the whole town then? Almost the whole town. My god, we've still got so much to do. We're already over an hour. Every episode's just got longer and longer. Hello? Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. It's a metal picnic table, cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it, stick your fingers into the holes of the table. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore, you try from below. Your hands become covered in cobwebs. I didn't actually get that. Oh! I don't know what that is, but okay, fair enough. Flower King! <gasps> He's here! Dum de dum. Oh, someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Yeah. I like how we also slightly walk in. That's a nice touch. How can I. Oh! Oh, Chris! Oh, wow, we get smothered. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot, if you, if you, I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. You know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. That was amazing animation. Well, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Oh, thanks. Let's go check this out. I can't check it. It's a cash register. Not much change inside. It's a flower. So that's supposed to be Mr. Flowey. I was thinking, perhaps when Azrael comes home, we can all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Maybe we'll have a dry nice drive around town. 
might need to clean up my truck, but there we go. Yeah, yeah, just goes in circles like that. There is flowers inside, even though they look like cakes. Oh, why does he walk that way? Oh, whoop. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Ah, oh, they're like the, the souls. The purple flower protecting the container. Blue flower protecting the container. Cyan. Golden flower. That's supposed to be flowery. Yellow flower, which is the soul color. Soul color. Soul color. They're all souls. They're all the souls. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could use the bags of soil. Perhaps not. <laughs> Oh, so he moves out here or something, I don't know. Unless he's always here. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Uh, see the photos. So they're still apart, I guess? I don't know. Almost inside is a jar with single pickle in it. You just had to pass. Yeah. Dirty first suck in the drain. It's a dirty watering can. The door is locked. Fair enough. So, what happens if I go up this way? Oh, he just blocks the other way. Okay, weird. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother. Oh, so good. You got the bouquet of flowers. Ah. Have a great day, Chris. So, hey, Chris, I was thinking perhaps when Ariel comes home, we all go. Oh, yeah, you just repeat yourself. Alright, cool. What happens if I take this to Alphys? Can I do that? Do I want to do that? That's the bloke! Oh, I'm afraid I don't know how I am, Dot. Haps the bloke! Maton! What are you doing in there? Chrissy! Like, long time no see. What's up? You want to talk about something? Neighbor. Oh, that chick <laughs> still drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Does she really never be me? Honestly, her family's like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie or Mad Mew Mew is canon. Wow, that I, that's that's crazy. Like, get a haircut, girl, for like your whole body. Uh, go away. Oh, there's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? Like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mum found out he kissed someone and, like, I think she basically dumped number on one. I swear your family went to church, like, every single day that week. Oh my god. Memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, let's, let's get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. Burger pants. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. And then a dozen miniature cakes. It was so good, I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got sick, so I had to go home. Man, so, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? <laughs> yep. You want me to get you some food? Oh, you lost an arm! Neighbor, baby, when's your brother Doug gonna come? When's your brother Doug gonna come by? My you know, girls love to see him, he's a sweet little man. Just got my problem, he doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You know, like frozen cat food? Okay, that's weird. Broken grill, smoked gaff. Oh, Chrissy! Like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm not even. I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god! Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything though, your choice. Asriel! Oh my god, Asriel! What a cutie pie! Do you remember when we went dance? I'm trying to read this fast because I'm going over time. I need to eat something. It's like I've only got an hour for work. That was like the best night ever. When I spilled the entire punch bowl over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mum. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene? That was so much fun! Tell him I said hi. Sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. I like his Caddy with an eye, so this is the original Caddy. Yes, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me, My playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute! I love my fricked up little sis. Wow. Neighbours. Like... That green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the other theatre was her. Then I went to queue Season Order Cappuccino, and she, like, was already drinking one. 
She's such a copycat. Uh, copy gator? Cop Copysaurus? Cop copy dial? I don't know, she sucks. Can I go in? Oh, Chrissy, if you want to come in, our cat flap is like always open for you. No, I can't go through that, can I? Right, back to the office. Um, I know I need to give it to um, Toriel, but I want to see what happens. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so we've cleared this entire part of the town. We're almost done, actually. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Uh, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Susie. Susie? That's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come out to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Uh, Chris, can I ask something that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her? That's okay. Eat chalk. What? She was eating the chalk? Really? Wait, you're teasing me, aren't you, Chris? Like when you told me Icy was real and eats kids? So Des smacked you with a wiffle bat until you stopped lying? <laughs> Are you telling the truth? Seriously? Um, what kind of chalk does she like? And do you think she like thin or thick kind? Like maybe making her a lunchbox for a chalk is stupid. Wow! Uh... Key. Huh? Why don't I ask my mum for the key? I mean, uh, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Oh, whoops. Uh, anything. Are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like there's something wrong with you. Chris, there's something wrong. Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure you appreciate it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Alright, that was... Okay. And we're at home. That's it. It's your mum's van. We're done. We're home. Oh, it's a slowed down version of our home music. Oh my god. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. Yep, but don't eat it all this time, alright? <laughs> we are right, Helen, aren't we? What's it, honey? Me. Chris, honey, you've grown up so much. Someday soon you'll be going off to the university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in? So we put that headband with little red horns on it. Ah, Halloween again. Oh, you were with for months. Whatever happened to it? I don't know. Flowers. For your mother? How sweet. These are from him, aren't they not? Eh, yeah, well, why not, Chris? I will find some place for them. Yeah, they're not together again, are they? They always seem to be apart, no matter what timeline. Remember that video game you and Ezra used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters. You knew about Ultimate, didn't you? You were hoping that Sans would get in it. He was very little. He loved the green lizard from that. Yeah, Yoshi. He even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all the eggs with spots for decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother was just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Oh, yep, he hates Dr. Zeus because he played Super Smash Brothers and like Yoshi. Wow. And, uh, uh, the pipe. Since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. <laughs> Maybe you should just give me a slice and that'll be it. <laughs> Perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do look quite... You, you, do, you do not look quite yourself. Well, that's it. It's about to cinnamon ties, too cooling. Butterscotch cinnamon. Do my business. <laughs> and that's it. That's that's Delta Rune Chapter 1, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, look at that. Well, we got nothing. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Well, I can't go back, so yeah, I'm done exploring. You decide to go to bed. That's that chapter done! Wow, I didn't expect this video to go on too long. Crazy. Come on, Toriel, do your thing. Oh, we're fidgeting. 
Uh, oh! We must have had a nightmare of some sort. That's one hell of a way to wake up landing on your face. Oh, whoa. Okay. Are we sleepwalking? I can't move. I can't press buttons. I'm a bit confused here. What the? Hmm? We just ripped our soul out of our own body. What the fuck happened there? Is that what the cage is for? We're soulless now. We just shoved it in there. Kara? That's the vibe I get. That's the vibe I get. We go through all that and that's what happens? When the light is running low And the shadows start to grow And the places that you know see That's one hell of a cliffhanger and this music is beautiful. There's an actual There's song. A light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth, the promise in our heart. Oh, wait for fan game myself. Don't forget it. I'm with you in the dark. Is this supposed to be Kara singing? Is Kara going through different timelines and now? We're continuing through with Chris. Chris is the new vessel. What? I don't know. But I'm only assuming that's Kara because Kara's the only one that we know and the game just closed itself. I'm only saying that that gives me Kara vibes because I'm going to boot up the game again just in case. Oh, okay. It actually boots up with the intro now. Yeah, I'll, well, we already know what this legend is, so, um, we'll talk about Kara now, since we have some visuals. Yeah, so, obviously, in Undertale, we know about Kara's backstory, we don't know how, we, we kind of get a f an idea of why she becomes genocidal when we go genocide. She gains all that experience in a negative light. But, the thing is, is that, obviously, this doesn't seem like a sequel with a big time skip, although it could also be with a twist to the timeline, because the characters are slightly different. Sans doesn't know anybody, and is new in town. Papyrus is not visible at all, and he was one of the most popular characters, because he appeared in every single um, trailer, effectively, and teaser for Undertale, for pretty much everything. And Undyne doesn't know Alphys at all, and yet we're still on the surface, the town is pretty much here, built and refined. Like, it's got its own, like, layout and stuff. And there are still some references. I mean, obviously, some of the characteristics are the same. Alphys still acts, acts the same. She still likes anime. Alphys, uh, I mean, Undyne is too crazy, but it's also, like, you know. That's not red, by the way, that was Rao Say, so that's a thing. But yeah. Wait, we didn't seal the fountain though, that's a question. We didn't seal the fountain, we just kind of like left and woke up. So this is just like a story they made up. As far as we know, but we might be going back next chapter apparently. But, so Chris, the reason why Chris is a bit creepy is because that at night, when she's unconscious, something takes a hold of her, makes her remove her soul, which I'm surprised you can just do that. That must be some evil power. Takes the soul out, uh, Chris's soul out of her, locks it in the cage for the night, and then goes on a killing spree? Or decides to go on a killing spree? I feel like that's something from, like, some dark thing. Like, they've made this concept, it's brought out a dark side, and that's a thing. And that might be what is influencing this. So, now the game actually opens up like Undertale does. Are we going to get Delta Rune title? Yeah, we do. Delta Rune. So, yeah, it's still not actually much story beyond the, behind the Delta Rune itself, so that's a thing. Oh, wow. This is a lot better. 
this is a lot better. Now, like I said, I don't know, I don't, that's a good cliffhanger, because we don't know how we're going to start off the next chapter, but at the same time, that's set the groundwork, so, wow, okay, um, copy it, Let's start it up again, yeah, and we're back here right before the battle, so we're able to actually go exploring, so I'll have to leave that for another day, I'll have to, now I've actually beaten the game, I can actually, like, finally, like, start, you know, looking at some stuff, um, I won't look at what's behind the cage, I'll only look at, um, what is, um, you know, you know what, I'm gonna close down the game, so, hang on a sec, so I'm gonna close down the game, and I'm going to open it back up so we can actually be on that title screen, because that, 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 that save file screen is quite awesome looking. I actually have to wait. No. Yeah, I can actually skip that, so that's fine. So yeah, we're going to stick on this page. So yeah, what what I'll do at some point is that um, I'll, I'll avoid everything about what's behind that gate, but I'll figure out how to get into the gate, as well as figure out why I can't get past that uh, card puzzle. Also put it in the comments as well, that'll really help. Um, at the same time... Uh, theories can be going around. I'm not too sure what to make of this anymore. Um, I have more questions than answers. Especially after that massive after game that we just pretty much talked to everybody. That took a while, even though it wasn't the entire, like, you know, as wide, wide expansive as the underground. It was all condensed, but it was just as long. And, uh, yeah. The, um... I do like the concept of this. I really love the battle. I really love the soundtrack. And is this the same tune that's used for the PS4 Undertale f uh, home menu theme on PS4? It's like the same tune. That's a bit weird. But yeah, um, there are there are definitely Undertale vibes here. The lore, the aesthetic is obviously being used. And the characters are being used for something completely different. And we don't know if it's a Tana, but if Kara is still dead and is a spirit... Again, that points... That points me toward that this is the same timeline, but there has been a bit of a paradox in between Undertale and Deltarune that has kind of made it like this, so that Alphys and um, Undyne are no longer together, they don't even know each other. But the barrier is still gone, um, the town has been established, the time skip has happened, we're now at school, there are more roads, and, you know, it's like all that sort of stuff, because it seems to lead on from Undertale, but at the same time, what the characters say doesn't. Like, we know Grilby was there because it was called Grilby's or something, but now it's called Sans or something, and it's like, Sans is there, and it's like, I don't know. It's weird. It is so weird. So, yeah, and this is only chapter one, and it was pretty much at length a full-blown game, and we're not done yet. We still need to build that key. We still need to get that past that one-car puzzle in the field. And whatever's behind that gate, we got to deal with. So I can look at anything now. I can look at stuff, spoil myself, look at theories. And the only thing that I can, I'm not going to spoil myself on is what's behind that gate. I will figure out how to get past that gate or where the keys, key pieces are. If you guys want to put it in the, in the, in the uh, comment section as well, that will really help. And uh, yeah, so that is the, for now, that's the end of Delta Rune until I can uh, decide to come back to it. Probably tomorrow, you, you know, I want to find out what's going on. But I don't want to walk through the whole entire underground because the encounters, you can't really dodge them and then you got to go through the whole thing again. That's a little bit of an annoyance. There's no run option. But, yeah, we have all three characters used. We have some knowledge, more questions. And that ending was really creepy, but it does allude to the existence of Kara, considering that we have Azriel and we have a new human, not Frisk. So, yeah, with that... I mean, for one thing, the character looks like an amalgamation of Frisk and Kara as well. Frisk's skin colour and Kara's shirt, so... But yeah, that'll be it for this video. I've got questions. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I thought it literally just killed herself right then and there, but no, it just somehow ripped the soul out of her without any wound and then pulled a knife out of nowhere. Well, we did... We had a pencil, but yeah, a knife out of nowhere. So again, that alludes to Kara. And I'm, no, I'm not saying that I that, that I think Kara is a genocide person, but I feel like that something must have happened. Like maybe the genocide True Pacifist route is canon. So we've all played. But so for anyone who just went to True Pacifist, we played the game wrong. Yeah, that might be a thing. But the only difference is how it ends, because you know, since you know spoilers and whatnot, this whole thing is. If you do genocide and then return to the game, Frisk gives Kara their soul, and if you do true pacifist afterwards, 
goes through like normal, but then the ending changes where it pretty much just kills everyone. Apparently, didn't happen, maybe Frisk fought back right beforehand, so maybe it's a slightly different, and maybe it's a neutral ending that went to True Pacifist. Like that, or something, but the major characters didn't die off, and Kara's come back again. I don't know, it's weird, but yeah. I haven't got anything else to say, I will leave it at that. I've got to ponder, and I'm also busy now, so that's a thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time for when we continue playing this. But I'll also see you guys for everything else. Please check the Mew Mew Kitty uh, um, Nintendo Switch Undertale exclusive content video that has recently gone up at the time when I was recording this. Uh, more voice acting for that. Uh, last bit of Undertale content right there that we that is cov coverable. And uh, yeah, um, with that, we'll be getting on with Spyro soon once that comes out within a week. And um, yeah, maybe we can even squeeze in the rest of uh, South Park Fracture Behold because this kind of overtook it. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark.